Right, we're hearing from the co-founder of Burn Pits 360, an organization that's played a big role in the push to help veterans exposed to toxic burn pits. As On Your Side's Tristan Hardy reports tonight, this week senators reached a deal on the PACT Act to deliver relief to all generations of toxic exposed veterans. Now that we're at this point, was it worth it? It's been worth every minute, every hour, every day of those 13 years have all been worth it. The grueling work is expected to pay off for Rosie Torres, volunteers, and all of the veterans who have been fighting for change. This week, the Senate announced a bipartisan deal has been reached on historic toxic exposure legislation. It would expand VA health care eligibility to post 9-11 combat veterans. It's, it's a step in the right direction. Especially for those who served overseas while exposed to toxins from open air burn pits, a combination of dangerous materials that were regularly doused in jet fuel, something that's left Torres' husband on oxygen 24-7. It was the catalyst for them founding Burn Pits 360, a nonprofit organization that focuses on advocating for veterans who've been suffering post 9-11. It took years and years of us spending and exhausting our life savings to get the answers we needed. 13 years going door to door, passing flyers, reaching out to elected officials. And for the days that we were just so exhausted and felt so defeated, you know, we would receive a call from another veteran spouse or a son or a daughter or a mother that said, I need help. The PACT Act is expected to be voted on by the Senate soon and then will need to be passed by the House. And nothing's done till it's done, you know, to the president signing that bill. Torres is holding on to hope for the men and women who answered the call to serve. In Jacksonville, Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.